Alright, it's about damn time. Part 3 Ultra. Uh, Ultra Vegeta Blue. We, are, we all know who it's gonna be. It's gonna be Ultra Vegeta Blue. We all already know. Let's just get this show over with. T turn back the curtains. Turn off the lights. We all know Ultra Vegeta Blue is gonna happen. It is gonna be interesting to see how he's gonna look. Because we have no idea how or what they're gonna plan. Because this is gonna be our third Vegeta Blue in the game. We have the OG LF, we have the yeah third year purple one, and that's it for Vegeta Blue. So it'll be interesting to see how they do this one, I guess. Chat, it's now seven o'clock. What do you have to say, Vegeta? Okay. The very first message I see is Ultra Vegeta Rule Thirty Four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. There has been speculation about the monster as well. I would take an Ultra the monster as well. And will it still like Vegeta Blue? Probably not. Altogether, this anniversary brought ten new summonable characters. That's actually a lot. Event exclusive characters. That's actually a lot. Yeah. What the hell? New characters that join Legends this anniversary make this Piccolo highly capable in both attack and defense. On the other hand, Gamma One. Uh, yeah. I smell cap there. I smell cap. <laughs> Uh, they need to give Orange Piccolo a little bit more. Uh, I won't be surprised after Ultra Kid Boo falls off to give him a plat quip. He needs it, actually. Yeah, she does need a help. <laughs> Once Ultra Kid Boo and Region falls off, Orange Piccolo is going to get plat equipment ASAP. During this program, we plan to announce the final new character for the anniversary. Singler. So, it's only going to be the one Ultra. Oh shit, I forgot to do my chance. I forgot to pull my numbers for the chance time. I forgot to do it. <laughs> well, I might, I might just go on my phone for this one. Okay. I'll see you after this is over because I forgot to exchange my ticket. We even have a message from some very special guests this time. Ooh. You won't want to miss a second of either this video message or the video coming right Ooh. Please take a look. Okay, that's an interesting way to introduce it. Okay. Oh! Well, <laughs> there you go! Well, they just told us right now. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> the fact that they're introducing the final character feels kind of sick. Now, this is cool, they're announcing it. This is cool. What is this? Are they doing a RGB gamer show? What? That's the fuck? This is what the hell is this? <laughs> what are they doing? What's that? I'm so confused now. All of this for a PNG on a gotcha game that gives you a 3D model you can play as. What? I'm, what is this? Okay, four star Dragon Ball. We all know that. I'm just, where's this going? Four, one, two, three, five, six. No. Five, six, and seven. I couldn't count for a second. That'd be kind of crazy if they switch it for Ultra Damasu. <laughs> That'd be kind of crazy. Are those the Super Dragon Balls? What? <laughs> Imagine Omega Shenron switch bait. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Ultra Omega Shenron. <laughs> okay, there's a Dragon Balls on the floor. Is it actually gonna be GT? Is it actually GT? Is it a wish? I want Android 21 to sell me right now. That's my wish. Preach. Spitting straight facts. Android 21, oiled up, 
directly in my face right now. Dragon Ball Legend New Fighter Not the shot music again! <laughs> but they're, they're really dragging this video out. They said, hey, we don't have enough content, let's make a whole ass drone. <laughs> Let's make a whole drone show. But I'm not complaining, this is cool. This is, this is cool. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> There's a baton, yep, there it goes. They're really hyping it. The actual Vegito favoritism in Legends is insane. Like, <laughs> the actual Vegito favoritism. They didn't do this with Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta. They didn't do this for a left Gogeta Blue. They didn't do this for Ultra Gogeta Blue or Super Gogeta. Nah. Fucking <laughs> Vegito? A whole ass show. A whole ass light show for Ultra Vegito. <laughs> Don't even get me talking about green Super Gogeta. Yep, here we go. Ultra Vegeta Blue Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna destroy the fucking game. Once again, the final featured character for the fifth anniversary is Ultra Super Saiyan God. We already know. They just show us the animations already. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. What the fuck is this quality? Oh god damn, okay. I can't play this theme, but okay. Hey! This is the best song in the wait, is this the best song in the game? Oh shit! <laughs> okay. Okay. She just stands there menacingly and just blasts your ass. He has that move! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Okay, this is the ultimate. Oh, that, wait, what was that then? So, the, okay, I get it. That was a green, this is that's a blue, and this is the ultimate. What? What? <laughs> you have to t actually tap during the ultimate? Wait a sec, did he just... Isn't that just Dragon Ball Heroes? Isn't that just straight up Dragon Ball Heroes? <laughs> ultimate damage by Fusion, Fusion Warrior, Future... He's red, let's go! I'm not gonna pull him properly then if he's red, fuck! <laughs> Let's see here. He's a melee type. All right. From the start of battle, one fifty. Oh my! One hundred fifty percent for damage inflicted. Your art star draw speed will increase by two levels. <laughs> all arts costs will decrease. What's more, Vegito <laughs> enters the battlefield. The enemy's special cover changes will be nullified, so you can unleash some devastating combos right away and really put pressure on your opponent. Plus. For a set period of time, your opponent's destroy card effects will be nullified, which means they can't use them to stop you in the middle of a combo. When what the fuck?! The enemy's rising rush will also be sealed, and what's more, there's a powerful one-time effect that will decrease their vanishing gauge to- What the fuck?! Using Gohan okay, he has a Rosé Beast. Okay, okay. The character uses an arts card. When the unique gauge is full, the entire gauge will be consumed, and- Yeah, it's a Rosé card. Recover health and key, and temporarily nullify enemy special cover changes. This allows okay. you to utilize this character's inherent combo potential to conquer your foes in an instant. But don't go thinking that all these drops are offensive abilities. One of Vegito's strengths is the ease with which you can activate a rising rush. When battle starts, nullify enemy attacks that try to decrease Dragon Ball. What? If you take an enemy arts attack while your remaining health is 50% or lower, there's a one-time effect to increase <laughs> Dragon Ball by one. 
Okay, so the final imp that punch is a counter. All right. You can find a more detailed look at the new character's abilities on the site. I don't even need to. This is the best character in the game. I don't even need to. Together with the release of This is the best character in the fucking game. The Dragon Ball Super opening song, Povix Dynamitsu, can be heard in game for a What the fuck? But that's an update to Ultimate Equipment Collection. And they're giving him a plat already. Oh my god. Characters that are element red and tag fusion warriors. It's one you'll definitely want to equip on. Oh no. The same Vegito. Oh no. Talked about this earlier, but an equipment mega No. is also planned, so it's the perfect time. No. For details about the equipment's effects, please check in game. Already a plat. Yeah, see? No fake out this time. I don't even need to look. Let me just play this out. I don't think we even need to look at the rest of the character's kit to realize this is the best fucking character in the game. I, we don't even need to. Red Fusion Warrior. So he's going to be right next to Ultra Gogeta Blue and Ultra Super Vegito. Uh, he has access to... Two free Zenkai buffers, so you can just double Zenkai and buff him right off the bat. Um, he... <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Just 180% distract damage. 70% damage reduction. Double card draw speed for 30 time accounts. Can't be... Your cards can't... For the first 30 time accounts of the match? Your opponent just doesn't fucking exist. They just don't exist. They don't get to play the game. You, your cards can't be destroyed. Yeah, double card draw speed. Reduce odds cost. You get key recovery. You nullify cover change. You seal the rush. Every time you switch in. And on your first entry, you don't... They have no finishing gauge. All you, all you need to do is combo with Ultra Gogeta Blue or Super Vegeta in the beginning. You just get to rush someone for fucking free, cause... <laughs> okay, now I get why they buffed Goku and Frieza. Uh, thi this unit needs to counter this unit or else the game is fucked. Cause he literally farms rising rushes like crazy. And he seals it, by the way. <laughs> and you know what else he does? He reduces- he, he can't reduce the Dragon Balls, so, you know, fucking... <laughs> is there even anyone who does that right now? The Gammas. That won't work on him. For the time accounts. He can farm Rising Rushes multiple fucking times. He can farm a Rising Rush off a of fucking Rising Rush. He has the Ultra Gogeta Blue effect of just nullifying endurance on Rush. And he goes type neutral too, so this is arguably stronger. Because then you just fucking kill any unit. So even after, let's say this Vegeta gets power crept, he gets countered by, let's say, a blue unit, he goes type neutral and nullifies endurance, so it doesn't matter who it is, they just fucking die, no matter what. And you get a Dragon Ball off that. And you get a Dragon Ball when you get below 50% health. And you store your own gauge and- Oh my god, if you kill someone off a of rush, you get your gauge back and you store health by- Everybody's health by 10%, and oh my god. Oh yeah, if you just get below 50% health, you just go type neutral and store basically an entire HP bar, you know? Just simple shit. The team is gonna... This is the meta. Leader slot Goku and Freezer. 
you have Super Vegito. You're gonna have this new fucking Vegito Blue. Then got buffed by this Red Vegito. Giving fucking 40% to his defenses and 20% extra offense. Just, you know, still one of the best D abilities in the game. Then got buffed Ultra Super Vegito. And buff HP while you're at it. Just, you know, 20% HP off the bat. And then then got buff Super Vegito, you know. The Popo Super Vegito, where if you have him at 14 stars. You're not only Zenkai buffing Goku and Frieza, you're also increasing strike attack by more, 30% more and, you know, 12% HP to the entire team, you know? So, just, you know, just 32% base health to the entire team, you know? Oh yeah, and don't forget... <laughs> okay, you guys know how tanky Kid Buu is. He has 60% damage reduction. This Vegito has 70% damage reduction, and he has ultra stats, and he's probably going to get, most, in most of your matches, he's going to be double Zenkai buffed. This is the best unit in the game. Like, I don't even need to see the rest of the character's kit. What? What? You get 15% fucking health on using your green card. Are you shitting me? And you go type neutral. And you see all fucking rush. Okay. Um. Okay, so you can't combo into it. You can only combo it to your blue or ultimate. That makes sense. Alright. That seems... That seems fair enough, I guess, for what the fuck this is doing. Okay. It also depends on how long this animation is. If this is a long animation, like... Red Super Gogeta, then this is useless. Otherwise, this is as good as a stop time that seals rush, restores health, you go type neutral, and if you get fucking- if you decide to counter it, if you get the counter, someone might be fucking dead with this blue card. <laughs> Will it tell us in-game how much this increases damage, or is it just fucking- I guess we're gonna fuck around and find out kind of thing, alright. Yeah, this- it just fucking cracked. Alright, time to go to my summons, let's see if I get shafted or not. Oh god, it's time for the summons. Oh no, it's time for the summons. Uh, I'm gonna get... It's... 10.59. I have 30 seconds for the banners to go live. I have 11k crystals in the dream. From how badly I got shot in the Orange Piccolo's banner, I hope it goes a lot better than what happened with Orange Piccolo. I hope it goes a lot better. But I won't be repeating that. That's the way I did Orange Piccolo. There's no shot. That's not gonna happen again. I'm just using my 11k crystals. Now the banner's live. I'm gonna use my 11k crystals, and if I get them, I get them. I don't. Well, I just got shafted again. That's the name of the game. Jesus. If this Vegito isn't number one, he's at least number. Th he's number two. Like th he's that close to Goku and Freeze, in my opinion. I'm gonna let this play out, cause I don't know if we'll see it in the summon today. I don't know if we'll see it. <laughs> Yeah, that's the best looking, like, art style for that, for the Ultra, in the game. I think the only one that comes close to that is the the first one, the Nant Mick Goku. That one still holds up to this day. That still holds up. <laughs> well, I have 14 Mortis to get Ultra Vegeta Blue. I believe in the luck. I believe in it, certainly. A man can dream. Okay, we have Tao just right off the bat, Super Saiyan. Okay, let me just get a Bardock animation off the bat. Let me see. No, no Bardock, okay. What I don't want is Bully, because that means it's an LF. I don't even know what LFs are going to be featured, but I know they're probably going to be ass. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to look after this one. I'm curious what crappy LFs are going to be featured. I know the OG VB is definitely going to be featured in this. Oh, God. Okay, that's my sparking for the multi. No, and I also got Golden Free- Okay. I'm curious, who else is featured on this crappy-ass Ultra Banner? 
Who else? So of hope, I, he's maxed out. I'll take more visions of Masu. And okay, that's actually not a whole lot left. It's just the four. And then the featured. Okay, 0.7% rate. Vegeta Blue? The, uh, the Ultra. The Red Ultra, please. Not the LF. The Red Ultra. You and me. Let's go. Okay, Jacko, Red Sky. Oh, Trunks, Bardock? No, we're not getting any Bardock animation, alright. Wait, Blue? Okay, multiple sparkings then. Lose? No, doesn't lose. Okay. Let me see here. First one is... He needs a Zenkai. He should be close to ma being maxed out more I think about it, actually. Yeah, I think he's close to max. Red 5, and now that he's at 7 stars. Okay, red 7. Nice. Fucking nice. <laughs> Ultra Vegito, please? No, no, no download. Okay. You and me. Let's go. pods doesn't... I'm gonna skip this one, I have a feeling this is a skip. Revival Cell, I had a feeling, yeah. I had a feeling this was a skip multi. Alright, here's a Phoebe. Phoebe's are always the best ones. You and me. Let's okay, Dragon Balls? Trunks? No, 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 Trunks. No, no, no. How about Bardock? No, okay. Do I know it's gonna be a sparking guaranteed, so I'm just gonna skip. Yeah. Once it's Luis. Yeah, that's. Okay. I'm gonna just skip this multi, honestly. I mean, blue cooler, yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. Thanks, Legends. Okay, blue! Alright. The only thing I need to look for is if Goku loses. That's it. Does Goku lose? No, he doesn't lose. So we're skipping... That animation then. Sparking number one, and it's uh, you're maxed out. I literally maxed you out on your initial banner. Legends Fest 2021. Up until now, that's the best celebration. Now it's this. I went ham on Trunks' banner when that came out. <laughs> Mommy? Is it a wish? I want Android 21 to sell me right now. That's my wish. Preach. Android 21, oiled up, stay in my face right now. No. Error code, oh no. Wait, it just, it just didn't. <laughs> what the fuck? That's the first time I've seen that happen. I, 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 tried to, the game, I tried to give a game my crystals and it just said no, fuck off. Excuse me? Give me my fucking take my crystals and give me Vegito. <laughs> take my crystals, damn it! <laughs> it really said no. Wait, Nimbus on Ice Stage? Bardock? Bardock? No, okay. Okay, Spirit Bomb makes sense. I don't see that animation every day. That's cool. It's always cool to see him go out of Super Saiyan into that base. That's always a sick animation to see. Even though it only means guaranteed sparking. Your Mac, your. That's just literally the worst LF I can pull. Because you have 14 stars. It's literally. It's literally nothing. I, that's literally just. Okay. And that was a time two rates as well. I feel scammed. Hello, hello, hello. This is reaching me a mess. So, uh, for some reason, my mic decided to stop recording in the middle of this. So, I have no mic audio for the rest of this. So, I'm gonna just get to the end because unfortunately, I didn't get Ultra Vegeta Blue. I did, however, get that weird ass error code where it just decided to not just give me my summon. I don't know why. That's the first time I've ever occurred, I've ever gotcha game. Just deciding not to let you summon. That's a first for me. But 
I, I didn't get Ultra Vegeta Blue. If I get him throughout the anniversary, I will get, I get him. But if I don't, I'm not going to chip off not getting him. However, he is going to absolutely slap my ass and call me his daddy. Wait, what? It doesn't make sense. Whatever, you get the point. He's going to ruin my PvP experience on the receiving end. But I know since this anniversary started that I've been putting out a lot of Legends content. So for those who are a bit, you know, Legends burnout, that's going to slow down for a bit. But if you do like Legends content, well, I'm not going to stop doing it. It's just going to be a lot less from now on. But if you do like what you see, you know, but if you do like what you see and you want to see more, you know, like subscribe all the good shit. And until next time, either in a Legends video or maybe another video.